Cause I own So I got to get my hustle on I own Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another video And yes, yes y'all uh, As I promised on the main channel uh, I was gonna do a video uh, For the WWE 2K22 uh, leaks that have apparently hit the net you know what I'm saying so we are here at the uh, Euro Gamer website uh, where I just pulled up this article in regards uh, to uh, WWE to the WWE 2K22 uh, leaks which as you can see in the headlines says WWE 2K22 details including cover allegedly leak online the Lord works in Mysterio ways and I see what you did there that's kind of clever actually it says news by Vicky Blake contributor updated on the 16th of January 2022 which was a couple of days ago it said details about the upcoming WWE 2k22 including its cover uh, have reportedly leaked online <clears throat> according to the Twitter account of tech is it technique news or Technic News, uh, Rey, Myster Rey Mysterio will allegedly grace this year's cover, which uh, would make sense if Mysterio is on the cover, being that the showcase uh, for this game is <clears throat> it is basically based on Rey Mysterio's run, um, I think from WCW uh, all the way up until uh, probably like the early phases of his WWE run. I could be wrong about that, so you know, take that with, with a grain of salt. <clears throat> and so yeah and continuing on says the site also what this site also intimate uh in, in, in intimates okay that pre-orders will go live soon um but stopped short of providing a definitive date although we already knew that it'll be sometime in march yes the game is due out in march so yeah that's pretty much a given and uh, word has it that I believe it's this Thursday. Uh, again, at the time of this recording is the 18th of January. And uh, word got out that uh, I guess 2K is finally gonna uh, is finally gonna, gonna reveal all the details um, about the game supposedly this upcoming Thursday. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, maybe I'll do a reaction video. Uh, for it, you know what I'm saying. So, but anyway, so, but that's not all that's leaked. According to Technic News, uh, a three-day early access period will go live on the 8th of March. Hmm, interesting. And the WWE 2K22 Deluxe Edition reportedly includes both the Undertaker Immortal Pack and the Season Pass. Thanks, VGC. Hmm. So, okay, so the Deluxe Edition is going to have the Undertaker Immortal Pack, and basically what that consists of, according to uh, the rumors of this alleged uh, Immortal Pack, it's supposed to have three versions of the Undertaker, uh, the Boneyard Match version of the Undertaker, and then I believe it's the Lord of Darkness Undertaker, and then the Undertaker with the um, with that with that mask that, that he wore, uh, when he had uh, surgery on his uh, or orbital bowl, uh, bone uh, for his eye, uh, I believe that's what it was. Uh, so and here we see the uh, cover, which I have it blown up over here in this tab. So allegedly, this is the uh, two different covers. The one where you see Rey Mysterio's portrait up close is the deluxe edition, and then the one where you see Rey Mysterio in the middle of a high flying move is the base edition and again this was provided by technic news you know what i'm saying at uh nils r rd is that how you pronounce it let me see here so the the twitter user uh i, I believe it's pronounced nils please forgive me if i get it wrong uh last name is Arin Ar 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 again i hope i got it right i'm pretty sure i butchered this poor man's name no disrespect intended, I assure you. But yeah, uh, I want to make sure I give him the credit for, uh, for uh, you know, pulling up this image. But uh, yeah, supposedly this is going to be the cover for uh, to WWE 2K22, which I, I hope it is. I mean, this, because this cover is actually looking pre pretty fantastic. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't mind 
uh, having Rey Mysterio on the WWE 2K22 cover. I mean, you need a legend, you know what I mean? And Rey Rey is definitely a legend in his own right. You know what I mean? He's earned the right to be on a cover of a WWE game. <clears throat> so, yeah. Especially if he's the showcase. I mean, it makes it makes all the sense in the world. I mean, if you're going to have two people, you know what I'm saying? And then, I mean, Rey, I mean, either way, Rey has to be on the cover. And then if you were to put someone else on there along with Rey... I don't know, maybe you want to put someone from, you know, the uh, current day, from the current roster. Um, I mean, given that Ray is back with the current roster. But, I mean, you, you guys get what I mean, though. You, get, you have a legend here, and then you want to have someone who is who, who is uh, younger, newer, you know what I mean, up and coming. You know what I mean? <clears throat> someone more who, who just recently joined the roster. And then, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe have Ray with... Um, you can see Ro Roman was on 2K20, so I don't know. Maybe put Ray and Seth Rollins together, or if you want to have a, a, a female wrestler, maybe put Ray with. Um, let me see. Becky Lynch was also on two, the uh, 2K20 cover. Mm, maybe put another legend. Maybe put a female legend on there, like 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 Lita or something. You know what I'm saying? That 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 would have been dope. Ray and Lita on the cover. That would have been dope. But uh, yeah. So anyway. Let's go ahead and get back to this article. The former allegedly includes uh, three additional Undertaker personas. So Phantom Mask Undertaker was the one I was thinking of. And then Lord of Darkness Undertaker and Boneyard Match Undertaker. So yeah, you're getting three different versions of the Undertaker according to this rumor. Again, we got to take all this as rumor as this is not official. At least until 2K officially announced that it is. As well as... Uh, my faction uh, EVO cards for Undertaker, as well as unspecified my faction perk, uh, my faction perks. So yeah, the my faction is uh, a new mode, a new feature in the game where you get to create your own uh, faction, apparently, and or your own stable, your own group. You know what I mean? Your own NWO, your own Degeneration X. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> and then I believe. Uh, you can level up your uh, your your faction. You know what I'm saying. Um, at least that's what I've heard. You know what I'm saying. Again, you know, take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> it's also available as a pre-order sweetener too. I mean that that would make sense. As well as the standard deluxe editions, there's also reference to a WWE 2K22 NWO for Life edition too, which will also reportedly include the Undertaker Immortal Pack, which, if that's true, that would be dope. And I can see that happening because in the previous year, uh, 2021, that year marked the 25th anniversary of the formation of the NWO. So I can see an NWO for Life edition happening. I would say that that's highly likely. But again, that's just... That's just me uh, speculating, though. You know what I mean? Um, I would like for that to be the case. And if it is the case, best believe your boy here is going to be uh, ordering or pre-ordering that NWO for Life edition. You know what I'm saying? Which also includes the Undertaker Immortal Pack. You know what I'm saying? If it's legit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <clears throat> the annual franchise uh, took a year off in 2021 after visual concepts. Uh, WWE 2K20 was widely paid. Hand, uh, prompting Sony to issue refunds to unhappy customers. Yeah, uh, needless to say, uh, WWE 2K20 was a colossal failure. I mean, for all the obvious reasons, um, as countless players posted clips of bugs and other issues, the visual concepts attempted to patch the game. To be fair, yes, they did put out a few patches, and in my opinion, I think they got kind of lazy in fixing some of the other issues. You know what I mean? That they, they should have at least tried to try to fix, you know, because, I mean, the game is out. Some people kept the game. I kept the game. I had the uh, digital version of the game on the PS4, which was, which was, uh, it, it was, it was crashing, um, a lot, but then I kept reporting to, you know, whenever uh, the game would crash, it would give you the option to to report it. 
and I kept reporting and the game seems to be running a bit more stable now so I think we're good on that end the Xbox version which I also have as well that one is still having uh, a lot of issues m mostly a lot of crashing issues so I just stick to the one on the the, the PS4 version since that one is playing just fine <clears throat> you know what I mean because uh, I tried playing WWE Battlegrounds and I'm just not a fan of that game you know what I mean I just I just don't like it that game felt very limited I mean if you want to make a WWE um, All-Stars like game you should have made a sequel game to WWE All-Stars that's just my opinion but anyway uh, that's neither here or there uh, ultimately reception to the broken WWE 2k20 was so poor that planned WWE 2k21 follow-up was scrapped yeah uh, instead, we saw a launch of the cartoonish WWE 2K Battlegrounds instead, which again, I, I'm not a huge fan of that game, because uh, again, it was it was such a limited game as far as what you can do. Uh, while the main series was given more time to rest up before returning, we'll find out in March if it was worth the wait. So yeah. And then uh, I went ahead and I pulled up this image right here. So this shows the two different covers uh, for, again, this is the uh, Deluxe Edition, which is the, the uh, top cover. And then the base uh, game is the, is the bottom image here. And I went ahead and I pulled up. Uh, I went ahead and actually I downloaded this image so I could zoom in on the uh, back covers Let's, we'll take a look at the back cover of the deluxe edition because I wanted to see all the features as you can see it says it hits different redesigned gameplay engine new controls all the features you can handle we'll, we'll, we'll just see about that um, the game that may hit too real uh, hitting this hard has never been so easy throw down with the biggest most realistic looking WWE superstars in legends like The Rock, Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, and more. And yes, I did see the WWE 2K22 teaser trailer, and I gotta say, I like visually. I, I like what, what, what I what I saw. It, it it does look like um that like like the game is running on a brand new engine. I mean, just the the amount of details on the wrestler. I mean, it, it on the especially on Goldberg, it looks so lifelike. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Of course, that was just a little teaser trailer um, until I actually have the game in my possession so I can, you know, try it out, you know what I mean, and uh, share my experiences on, on, on this channel, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm whole, I'm reserving all judgment, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, 619, your way to superstardom. Celebrate pivotal moments in Rey Mysterio's career in 2K Showcase. Booyaka. So, yeah. Like I said, it makes sense to have Ray grace the cover, you know what I mean, since the 2K Showcase is is Ray Mysterio's 2K Showcase. And as you can see on the back cover, we got, you know, Becky Lynch right there. So, I don't know. I don't know how, how legit this cover is. I mean, I mean, it, it, if they want to have Becky Lynch on the cover again, but on the back of the cover or whatever, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Um... <clears throat> Introducing my GM. My GM. This this was a mode that I know a lot of people were, were looking forward to. They've been wanting this this mode to come back ever since um, SmackDown versus Raw 2008. I believe was the last game that had uh, the my GM mode. Me. Th this was a mode that I can take or leave because you know Universe mode is gonna be in the game, and to me Universe mode is just as good if not better in my opinion uh than my gm because you don't have just control over one show you have control over the the uh schedule you know what i mean with every show uh, on the uh on the monthly schedules you you can you have total control over raw you have total control over smackdown you can change up the rosters you can keep the brands split or you can um have everyone appear on both shows you know what i mean I like I like the overall control in universe mode. It's just if anything, I wish it would give you more freedom. Um, as far as I wish it, I, I wish if anything, I wish if anything it, it would um 
when, whenever you you would do whenever you you would start a rivalry and you create groups or whatever because this is the biggest problem I had with 2k19 uh, I don't want members in these factions to have to immediately start beefing with each other you know what I mean when I'm building a faction of certain super with, with certain superstars in these factions I don't want them to be involved in any rivalries they're supposed to be teammates and I want to be able to put any two members of the faction in tag matches and go after the tag team titles. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't like that. Oh, that the first two members of the group is, is the tag team, and then everybody you add in after that is all like individual. You know, singles competitors and whatnot. I was never a fan of that. I wish everybody was listed as a singles competitor. That way, I can choose. Whichever two that I want to go after the uh, tag titles. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Uh, so anyway. Unless I, uh, you know, initiate a rivalry between uh, the the uh, members or whatever. You know what I mean? I want to have total control over as far as, like, the rivalries and stuff. You know what I mean? I don't want the game to dictate um, who should be in what rivalry or whatever. No, that should be up to me. But anyway, um, going back to my GM mode, the reason um, I'm mixed on it and I could take or leave, I mean, I was never really a fan of the my GM mode. I got, it was one of those things that I got so bored with right away. And to me, it, to me, it seems a bit redundant. It seems pointless to have my GM when you have universe mode. Because again, you have more control, more freedom in universe mode than you do with my GM. I mean, I don't know if I'll do videos for the MyGM. I mean, I might. I don't know. Or I might just check it out on my own time um, offline. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, introducing MyGM. Call the shots as a WWE general manager. Take take the reins of Raw, SmackDown, NXT, or NXT UK. Which, okay, I can appreciate that they're incorporating all of the brands. Such as the two NXTs. Um, Raw and SmackDown um, and draft your ultimate roster to complete or to compete, excuse me, against rival GMs. Now, I know a lot of people who read this, they automatically assumed that, uh, oh, I wonder if this is going to be, you know, something that you could play online with other people. I'm sure given in today's gaming climate, this could be a feature that you can probably you know play against somebody online but no I mean it should be a given that when you compete against rival GM's I mean you're going to depending on what show you're running if you're, if you're the GM of Raw obviously you're gonna go up against the GM of Smackdown NXT and NXT UK you know what I'm saying and what have you same thing with Smackdown NXT NXT UK whichever show you're running obviously you're going up against the GM's of these other shows so I wouldn't read too much into it just yet um, executive soundtrack producer Machine Gun Kelly so I guess Machine Gun Kelly is dictating uh, what songs will be in the uh, will be playing during the uh, menu selection screens um, as long as I don't have to hear blow my mind blow my mind cuz man I can't tell you just how badly I wanted to blow my mind um, after hearing that so many times. Thanks a lot, Daniel Bryan. Asshole. And now you're off to AEW and probably blowing people's minds over there. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, as long as I don't ha have to hear that noise, then I really don't care at this point who dictates the music, you know what I'm saying, during the menu screens. Um, and speaking of music, uh, I would like for us to have custom music, you know what I'm saying, and when it comes to the creative wrestlers and you create an entrance, you know what I mean? I like the um, the generic music selections we got in 2K20, um, you, although it's kind of hard to enjoy them because you know all the glitching issues and whatnot and the inconsistencies of that game. Um, but anyway, if, if we can get some more uh, music selections, like I said, custom music and stuff, man, I'd be happy. Hell, the, the the music that you have playing during the menu screens, why can't you make those theme songs? I mean, come on now. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, rise up the ranks through uh, WWE. So this is the uh, the My Rise uh, mode, which is I guess their uh, their season mode or their story mode. Um, they they renamed it to My Rise, and uh, so it says take on not one but two My Rise adventures featuring unique male and female storylines. So it sounds like here um, instead of having both your male and female my player uh, characters you know working together you know and being a part of the same um, in the same storylines you know what I mean and coming up together and whatnot it sounds like both the male my my player and the female my player will be featured in separate storylines which is what I've always wanted ever since um, uh, WWE 2K16 when they started incorporating you know the the uh, season mode or the story mode wh whatever you want to call it um, yeah I've always wanted that you know what I mean have uh, a separate story mode for the male my player and a separate story mode for the the female my player I, I appreciate the effort of them doing the both male and female uh, story mode together you know what I mean but that story was ass I mean, it was total ass. I, I didn't like the way the, the male my player was being treated. You know what I mean? You, you can definitely feel the um, the political narrative that was being pushed in that game. I'm just saying. But anyway, I don't want to get into all that because that's not what this video is about. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and finish on with this feature. Uh, what they're talking about with this feature. So... Uh, going back to take on not one but two My Rise Adventures featuring unique male and female storylines that let you choose your journey like never before. So, so th th does this mean that when you lose a match that there's no real consequence? You know what I mean? Like, like, like the the story doesn't force you to have to win every match. You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong. Of course, you want to win every match that you participate in, but I mean. Does this mean that if we lose certain matches that the story changes? You know what I mean? I mean, I'd be all for that. You know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. Uh, and, uh, and and do we get to choose if or not we want to be a part of any established factions? Like, like if we want to be a part of the Bloodline or if we want to be part of like the New Day or whatever other faction that is... That, to, to be fair, I haven't really been watching WWE that much lately. You know what I mean? Because really, because really, I don't watch TV. I just you know follow certain YouTubers that that report on WWE. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. But anyway, uh, I can't wait for that my rise mode because I want to see just how detailed that is. I mean, if it tells you that, yeah, you can. Uh, you, you, you could take a very unique journey or a personalized journey then yeah, I, I like to see that you know what I mean in order to believe that uh, build yourself a what build for yourself share the world the creation suite is back and better than ever uh, we'll, we'll see about that uh, be yourself or someone else so Speaking of the creation suite, something that I've want to see ever since uh, WrestleMania 2000, I want I want to not only be able to create my own unique characters, which I always enjoy doing. This is why I always buy these games because I always love the uh, the creation suite. You know what I'm saying? Where you create your own characters, create your own entrances, your own. Uh, championships your own arenas and stuff like that I, I love that stuff I mean I always have tons of fun with that stuff but then um, and the one thing I do like is that uh, when it comes to like the actual roster the actual superstars um, I do appreciate the fact that it, you know to kind of keep them up to date we can we have the ability to edit their attires but I want the superstar edits to go further than that I don't want to just be able to change their attire. I want to be able to change their appearance. Because you know how sometimes 
some superstars they, they they change their hair or they get a new tattoo you know what i'm saying or like like their their figure their their build changes you know what i mean some some stars they they, they gain weight some stars lose weight you know what i mean i want to be able to i want each superstar you know what i mean in in the in, in the roster to be fully customizable that would be nice you know what i mean maybe i'm asking for too much there but that would be nice and in WrestleMania 2000, that was one of the things I really liked. You you could change um, the superstars build along with their attire. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Bring bring that. Well, I can't say bring that feature back because WWE 2K when they took over the the WWE game fan, franchise, they never really had that. It was THQ who did all that. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see what else they got going on here. Assemble your own factions. So here we go. Uh, in a franchise first, the all new My Faction lets you build a faction that rivals the NWO. Uh, collect, manage, and upgrade WWE superstars with weekly events and regular updates. So this I, I can appreciate. So I can make a faction that features any superstars. Hopefully that that includes my 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 creative my creative superstars, you know what I mean as well. And then it says, you know, you mean you can upgrade WWE, WWE superstars. So if by upgrading, what does that mean? Does that mean attribute points? Does that mean that um I can unlock um alternate attires? You know what I mean? Like what what does that mean necessarily? Hopefully we'll get all that when Two uh, K makes their uh, announcement and reveal all the details that each mode has to offer here and then you're talking about with weekly events and regular updates okay so with weekly events and regular updates does that mean that you're bringing the uh the 2k tower system back the superstar towers are are those going to be in this game because in 2k20 in order for you to unlock like uh certain attire pieces and and other you know goods uh, they would have these towers where it would be like a pay-per-view event or something like that and then uh, now because you know they're no longer supporting 2k20 all that's been shut down so you can't unlock um, some of those things anymore which sucks um, but it is what it is um, but yeah I'm wondering though is, does that mean that, that we're still gonna have the uh, towers in, 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 in this game are those coming back yeah, I'm really curious about that. Uh, bonus digital content. The Deluxe Edition includes the Undertaker Immortal Pack featuring the three, the three bonus Undertaker Personas. The uh, Starcade 96 Rey Mysterio Pack. And the WWE 2K22 Season Pass. Alright, so the Deluxe Edition. If you get the Deluxe Edition, you're basically going to get this Undertaker Immortal Pack. Which, I don't know, looks official to me. Then again, what the hell do I know? And then we can see the three Undertakers. You know, there's the Boneyard uh, Taker. There's uh, the uh, Lord of Darkness Taker. And then, of course, the Phantom Mask Taker. Now, since we're getting the Boneyard Taker, does that mean we're getting the Boneyard match? That would be dope. I would not mind getting a, a Boneyard match. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it would be a great way to... It would be one of those little little details that I'll make up for that disaster that is WWE 2K20 you know what I mean and um okay I'm looking down to see who helped made this game we got 2K we got virtual concepts we got T2 WWE and Havoc so so far this is looking legit let's see the back of the regular base game cover and it looks like it pretty much says all the same thing, so it's not really that much different from the uh, from the yeah deluxe cover. And then down over here, when we look at the front cover here, it says available on the Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS Five, and PS Four. So, um, I really hope this is true. I hope that this game is available for previous gen because I've been having a hell of a time trying to track down a PS5. You know what I mean? My brother-in-law got a PS5 for Christmas, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a, you know quite quite a bit jealous of him. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Because I want a PS5, and it's the disc one too, which is the one I wanted. 
or the one I, I still want. But um, if it's coming out for Xbox One and PS4, then I mean that that that's cool. And um, I don't see why they won't release it for the previous gen consoles, as you know, supplies for the current gen consoles, as you know, is very limited due to the uh, uh, parts shortage and what have you. So I don't see 2K only releasing for current gen. You know what I mean? Which would only which which could only limit their their sales numbers. Why do that? Why hurt your business that way when you can also release for the previous gen as well? You know what I mean? To uh, boost your sales numbers. You know what I'm saying? And plus, y'all, 2K, you still owe us for 2K20. You know what I'm saying? You didn't give us 2K21. So, yeah, we, we best get 2K22 for the previous gen. I'm just saying. So, yeah, guys. That that is pretty much it as far as like the leaks for the new WWE 2K22 game. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but yo, I'm certainly am excited for this. I can't wait to check this game out. Like I said, uh, I can't wait to hear the uh, the actual reveal on as to all the details about this game and what this game has to offer and everything. Let me know if you guys share that same sentiment. Let me know if you're excited for WWE 2K22. Are you looking forward to it? Are you not? Do you, do you think that uh that it'll be a a huge success or do you think this will be another uh great disaster like WWE 2K20? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. I, I look forward to checking out y'all's feedback as I always do. And uh, if you would if you're feeling this video, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up down below. We we'll greatly appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to hit hook up your boy with, with a with a with a uh, su subscribe and all that fun stuff. You know what I'm saying. And also check out the links in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I think I pretty much nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JV saying y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all the next one. All right, peace.